This is the new Amazon made this MMO. All right. Yeah, we get it. The tree has Roman numerals on it. Let's just get down to one and start this. You know what? I've never actually made a standalone video on Amazon Game Studios upcoming title New World. It's one of probably five MMORPGs that That's I'm cool. really excited for, mostly due to the actual subgenre of being a hardcore sandbox game and that just being my absolute favorite in the MMORPG space. All right. So the reason for this video really is for two things. The first and the foremost is to let you guys know that the new world is teasing something with a countdown now for the last couple of days on their Twitter, which we will analyze a little in a minute. And let's see what this Twitter countdown is. Uh, Twitter, let's see. Uh, I want to see what the countdown is here. Uh, new world. It's all counted down to this. Now I've got to watch another fucking thing? I've got to watch something else? Why can't we just do, just tell me what it is, man? Again, I don't want to watch Game Awards, man. The second to just talk about New World. Okay. For those of you who have no idea what it's supposed to be, and then what I want it to be, yeah. and just my general thoughts and feelings about everything. I actually don't follow any social media at all for New World, for whatever reason, strangely this enough. This looks really good. I also never played the game despite being in the in the alpha test phase. Yeah. Because when I got invited, I just started making YouTube videos and I didn't think it would be a worthwhile use of my time to play a game that was heavily under a non-disclosure agreement, which I sort yeah. of regret at this point. I say that because I totally would have missed this update if it wasn't for a friend of mine who follows their subreddit letting People me know. People spam me about this. They've so low-key started posting videos on their Twitter account with a tree slowly dying and a numeric countdown showing. This started at 5 and the countdown is due to end on Thursday the 12th of December, which would be presumably when they uncover that? whatever it is they're that? announcing. That's all we know so far. The community is speculating that they are going to be lining this up and announcing something at the Game Awards. The map looks which interesting. Is on the 12th of December also. It's a pretty massive event and lots of eyes will be on it, but I have absolutely no experience with the event, so I can't actually say if they announce games I think it could be good. release dates or stuff like that. So I just do. to say that's the pure speculation, that would be a nice coincidence if that's not linked. I think in October or November, I made a video that was about which MMORPGs are still scheduled to release in 2019 because we all know quite a few delays. Like, what do you guys think about the, the game right here? Like, just like the graphics. I think this looks good. I, I'd like to zoom out more. I don't like being zoomed in this much. But other than that, I, I think it looks pretty good. Mal looks like shit. I don't know. Like, it's like Russ. Looks like trash. Looks mediocre. Atlas 2? Well, I'll play it this time. I would have played Atlas whenever it came out, too. Look soulless? I don't know about that. I mean, I think you have to see a little bit more of, like, the gameplay, you know what I mean? It reminds me a bit like Ark Survival MMO. ...have happened, and Never played Ark. some still have dates set of 2019, and it's, it's three weeks away from 2020. Yeah. So I put that video together with ones that had hard release dates first, and then the ones that were least likely to release at the end. I okay. say that to say this. I put Amazon's New World in that video, and I said, despite it having been in alpha and under an NDA, from what I've heard, the game was already polished and pretty much ready for launch. It just needed content adding and a few core issues resolved. So since then, the alpha servers have still been down. They took th that's that that's reassuring to hear because usually nowadays they add in, they just put out the game. They're like, hey, you know what? We're done. Let's put it out there. See if they like it. And uh, I, I fucking hate that shit, man. Whenever you have these fucking games that are getting released and they're not ready to be released. They're just simply not ready to be released. But they bring them out anyway and you have to deal with the bullshit. I, I'm not a fan of that at all their forums down early access people were basically wondering whether new world was dead or not well yeah. i've been saying for a while i wouldn't be surprised if new world was just randomly dropped out live with absolutely no crazy press tour or anything like that. i wouldn't just expect that from amazon like how apex uh, I legends wouldn't. was announced where it just sort of appeared out of thin air and then it was just live like same day 
Now, maybe that doesn't happen with New World, and maybe this announcement is just numbers feel a good. Test or early access or a release date hitting a three hundred on a turkey, something like that. I like that. But I want to believe that I'm right on this, and I'm now going to take you on the wild ride down the rabbit hole of my thought process on this. And you can tell me if you think I'm actually insane, or if this makes. I some feel kind like the game sense. looks really good. So look at any Western MMORPG release in recent years. What do they all have in common? They Press, suck. Marketing, buzz, developer interviews, they suck. trailers, dev diaries. Ways to get your name out oh, there, yeah, yeah, that the too. good word, get people hyped for okay. your game, right? It takes many years to build an MMORPG, even for established, experienced teams. So they fill in that time showing you stuff, so you then spread the word for them and you don't lose interest. Now, the reason I mention this is then compare all of that to Amazon and how Amazon Game Studios, and by extension their games, New World... What if they're just bad at Lord marketing? The Rings MMORPG they announced recently. Yeah. There's not a whole lot in common. They don't do a whole lot, to be honest. I don't know, the man. sort of appeared out of nowhere. I think this looks Hasn't cool. Hasn't had a great deal of press run at all. The studio in general is pretty quiet. They don't use their social media that much. Just think of this for a minute. They're owned by Amazon. They do not need media. They don't need the press to run. The they, game. They, they don't need don't anything need because they're fucking they Amazon. The yeah, you're right. Most influential, arguably the first most in going viral, marketing influential platform in our demographic they they own twitch they are developing this game to it's true i have to like twitch. this game they don't need to get the word out i, I have to they like will it will release the game and if i don't seen, like it, it i'm fucking heard, banned talked about and that's all there is to it they will plaster it all over that platform yeah, all probably. of this leads me to believe that they will be just dropping this game no fuss very soon if it's not before 2012, not before Christmas, it will be very early 2020, mm -hmm. which is pretty crazy when you think about it. I mean, to be honest, it's totally plausible that I just somehow missed all of this news that New World's been putting out there, but I legitimately had to go digging to find their social media. Like, think of how big Amazon is and how big of a deal it is that they're about to drop an MMORPG, and it's basically their first PC game. That is also a they've got a lot of they've got high PC, expectations i'll say market, that for sure and their twitter account has 13k followers 800 tweets 1.7k subs on youtube and zero videos posted yeah their this social media saying. presence they've sucks they've literally done zero advertisement for this game yeah if you youtube search for trailers of the people game, didn't even know what no this is actual official trailer guys i think the only official one i remember it's like you guys are getting hyped up by, oh man, watch Corecraft, watch Corecraft, or what is it, Core Punk? sorry, I forgot what the fuck it was called. And they've got like all this stuff going on, they've got this interesting trailer, they're trying to do this like big media thing, everybody's talking about it. And I don't know, like, I, I can't see myself being more excited for Core Punk than I would be for this game, right? It just looks, they put much more probably work into this game than they have than Core Punk. And, you know, here we are. But Corecraft? Yeah, whatever the, the fuck it is. Years ago in like 2016. Think about this. The game was pretty much feature complete in alpha and they aren't even releasing trailers or advertising the game at all. They obviously very blatantly do not care about hype or build up. This all combined leads me to believe that they are about to drop some huge news. Either outright just bam, here's the game or very, very soon it will be playable. One last thing to consider That'd be also, insane. I went through their Twitter account and the Wikipedia pages with all the news. Yeah. When New World announced Alpha, they literally just did Alpha. They didn't actually announce it. They just invited a bunch of people. Well, I think that makes sense because it was NDA, right? Like, why, why announce this super cool, like, amazing Alpha for a game that's NDA? And then a week later said on Twitter, yeah, by the way, we've been doing Alpha since last week. New invites will go out periodically. And then ran Alpha for 10 months with very little fuss or news. They just sort of appeared, dropped Alpha, then vanished. So if they did the Alpha with zero announcement, no trailers throughout development, and not very much media, no teasers or announcement at all, what's so big now that they've suddenly changed their entire process they've been using for years, and they're doing a five-day video countdown? Probably because the people that are in charge of Amazon are up there thinking, hey, how the fuck does our game have no hype behind it whenever people get more excited for some dog shit game that was made with pre-made assets in a Unity engine? May I don't know, maybe that's why. Maybe the people that are like, you know what? Why don't we actually try and market the game? Please. Seems like a in good idea. Mind, that's the smoking gun and absolutely 100% this is either the release or the release date. Well, 
not 100 percent because i'm not a prophet i just think if you look at everything together it looks pretty likely either that or i'm the mmorpg equivalent of some guy putting newspaper clippings all over my walls like okay so i guess i did okay. this video in probably the wrong order i should have explained what the game was first it's a good way to i'm excited you know so i guess if you have got you know if you do that again kira you can do this thing called editing where you take the first half of the video and you put it in the second half and you take the second half of the video and you put it in the first half so if you really think that you that's actually like on stream it's harder to do right because you know it's like it's live but whenever it's not live you just you just cut it differently i do that all the time with the videos it's not a big deal to this point without any prior knowledge of not what new world is congratulations yeah. you must be really invested in what i'm saying right now and if i if what i tell you isn't good this could be a lot of build up for you to just not care so i'm sorry if if it's now yeah. gonna be a disappointment we'll see well new world is described as a sandbox mmorpg what that's, does that mean that sounds well, a exciting lot of people are attributing this game to being very similar to survival games and that's also which being is good ar argued against by new world players who are in the alpha though they a can't withered? give much away due to the nda wait they have withers in the game. game if you're unfamiliar with the term is a game like and Rust, he's bald daisy arc things like that where you're basically fulfilling the basic like survival tasks drinking okay. water eating food not dying to creatures in the wilderness or the most can we just talk about this combat dangerous here dangerous one that combat sucks like this actually sucks what well, watch this who are in the alpha though they can't give much away due to the nda okay a survival game if you're unfamiliar with the term is a game that like is just Rust, that is easy awful arc, things like that where you're basically absolutely fucking basic awful. survival tasks drinking water eating wow food, not dying to creatures in the wilderness or the most dangerous one or the yeah, players, I, I i really don't like you know, the combat dying to disease whether whatever is in the game Shit, to kill yeah. You. yeah i Your don't goal know is to survive to build a base usually to hide your things in the base and protect yourself and then to fight other players usually survival games aren't mmrpgs in the way they yeah. the way the genre typically is due to survival games having around 100 players or something like that on a server and generally very light have like RPG thousands elements yeah or very frequent wipes or you know shallow progression what new world is on the other hand okay. i wouldn't compare with a survival game at all really since it's actually a large server with thousands of concurrent players on it and is an actual mmrpg with progression as well as then of course it then does have those survival elements those building bases taking bases from people crafting gathering eating stuff like that it does have the survival elements great but it also has a world that has more persistence and with that an actual economy and then we'll see how the economy goes a value to land a value to wars and a value to wares so you crafting uh... things gathering things it all has an overall value so it will be a sandbox mmrpg and then survival as well in the way that you will need to consume things to survive you will need to build bases and those bases will be attacked destroyed and looted by your enemies you will be crafting the gear you use in the game you'll be choosing your style of play whether that's a trader a crafter a gatherer a mercenary a monster Where's hunter a player killer a spy whatever it is you choose to play that's what a sandbox is yeah where's the be. fucking raids man facilitate you immersing yourself in the game world and being something now as for new world and how prevalent these features are i can't personally say because i've not played the game i've seen the gameplay that was leaked i've spoken to people that have played the game it seems to be a pretty mixed bag of responses i think from the consensus i've gotten so far from my own anecdotal evidence is that if you like sandbox mmrpgs or survival games you'll probably really like new world and then if you don't like either of those two genres of games you could like it but more than likely not. probably Otherwise, not going you'd to have liked those other games so okay. the people who have played and disliked the game have essentially said oh it's just another survival game which it, it may be but the other people who have likely played more and stuck the game out throughout a lot whoa of the look at the helmet he's got no, the tier not, one druid gear on an mmrpg i think that got the antlers well, on his head this will really still be an argument when the game comes it's out a good looking it's guy an argument nowadays between games that are already out is it an mmorpg is it not is it this is it that 
Now, for me, New World is exciting for a few Why reasons. Why didn't you have this on First the whole time? It looks badass a very now. Unique world that isn't typically seen a lot in games, so... I'll be honest, like, seeing the antler head fucking helmet there, man, it actually improved my opinion of the game, like, double. This made me twice as excited for the game as I was beforehand. Just seeing the antler heads. Antler helmet's ugly? Yeah, but it sticks out. It's like you see somebody... Hey, hey. You know, he's got the antlers on his head. That makes it kind of funny. Oh, that's an absolute gold mine in my eyes. They really Two hit the nail on the head zero, with yeah. the choice of setting. Now, think about MMORPGs usually. They're not very unique in setting. It's some variation of anime kingdom, orcs yeah. and elves, low fantasy, medieval, or sci-fi. Which There's is all I want. Few it's all I want. Rule, but it, it is pretty prevalent. So me personally, I love the fact it's set in the new world, the colonization era and everything that comes with that. It comes with the best of a lot of different worlds because you have the low fantasy, swords, armor, and bows, the slow gameplay of that, the first versions of guns, which I imagine could be balanced since they were very slow. So immediately okay. not something that would be guaranteed to be super broken as, you know, like an M16 versus some guy in plate and a sword. Yeah, that seems a little bit overpowered. Explosives for siege siege weaponry and still have use for the older stuff like catapults ladders stuff like that due to people building bases out of stone and wood so you have a lot of options to balance balance the siege mechanics in the game then you have the setting of the new world which is absolutely perfect it's a big beautiful untouched landscape with the mysticism of colonial horror so werewolves vampires cultism that's and cool discovered wilderness with giant creatures are we gonna have witch trials seen by man that's what's important they leave open the doors to have boats and naval combat which yeah again, wouldn't be too over the top so it's be like settings. atlas look how good that they turned then, out of course have the money behind the studio be and the platform to make this game literally too big to fail which is always the issue with sandboxes the reason i say this is an issue typically that sandboxes suffer is degrading player base due to cannibalization of itself and no new blood coming in again amazon owns twitch so the, so anytime the players they... make the, make each other quit the game i don't know can anybody think of a situation where the player base made another part of the player base quit the game i i don't know if anybody can you know bring one of those up or have one of those come to mind but this seems awfully familiar need a boost in population there you have it they messed the game up but push out a big no new update that yeah revitalizes the game and makes it why isn't this dipshit have the, the axe launch. like the other guy they has. have billions of impressions on twitch at very little cost to themselves game is well received and integrated into the platform best case scenario that's what happens and we all know how quickly a game can go overnight with that think of br craze and how PUBG yeah. went from basically an unknown game to being one of the most played and watched games in the world in a very short period of time through same with fortnite actually jumping on the game and that advertising it yeah, sure, same I with think PUBG would have gotten big anyways because okay let's see this combat right time but i think twitch played a huge role in how fast that was oh yeah 100 percent. size 100 so for me new world is one of my most anticipated projects and the fact that they're teasing an announcement is huge i think in my head everything i've said in this video has made some kind of sense and then there is a good reason i should be excited for thursday the 12th but who knows you guys will have to let me know what you think of my theory am i mad uh, or am i onto something let me know what you think of the announcement what do you guys think about this combat here let me know what you think of new world are you excited for the game are you a sandbox fiend like me uh, or it's you not that all good interested in the game just for me myself i'm super excited for new world yeah it's probably my top three of exciting upcoming projects not about that because if nothing else it's a unique concept which is my issue with the genre as a whole nowadays it's been so many years of the same concepts done with money or new concepts done without money which no matter how cool and interesting that concept is they're usually doomed to failure due to the low budgets Amazon Game Studios are going with they don't the have concept, that problem the innovation and they probably have they've a got a lot budget of fucking money and unlimited marketing that's yep. something definitely to be excited about I hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe play with my bell join me on discord play with my bell and everything follow me on Ew. Twitter and as always a special shout out to the YouTube membership squad for the extra support Chili Huey, Rowan, Miss Yun, Rams, okay. Duo T, Jack, Angel, Joe, Marathon Fire. Was this a Pitbull song?
calling out all the fucking like it's like Pitbull at the start of every one of his fucking songs calls out eight different cities like New York fucking Los Angeles you know Dubai and then he starts the actual song like what does that have to do with anything well he is Mr. Worldwide so he's got to name out some places in the world uh, yeah Mr. Worldwide man you gotta you gotta live up to the fucking name so, New World, what's this here? New World Combat. I want to see what the combat is like, okay? I watched this a while ago, okay? I, I'm actually, uh, I'm excited for this game. I know this might upset a lot of people. Let me see, New World uh, Combat. Uh, combat and Crafting. So, let's see, 10 months ago. This is quite a while ago. Uh, Large-scale PvP things to know about. We're just gonna, we're not even gonna basically listen to this at all. So, let's see what the hell this is here. Of work we need players a lot of them playing in the same world okay it seems so that lately some mmo developers decided to challenge mute that right there i don't want to listen to him what he's saying uh just overall oh it's the same fucking clip never oh this is the video that he stole it from what the fuck are we cook on the one video the guy got his shit from and, and now we're looking at this okay yeah perfect man have you seen the amazon Lord of the rings mmo no i haven't until there's a trailer i'm not going to get excited about it so, uh, over this game, right, what, what do you guys think about the game? Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and ask you guys what, what you think about the game. Oh, uh, Cormunk needs more gameplay. Uh, I think there's some BDO, combat, the same. Yeah, I mean, the only MMO combat that I've ever really seen that seems fulfilling to me in a way that's not just like the same old bullshit is something uh, like Black Desert. I think Black Desert has some of the coolest and most interesting and flashy and awesome combat uh, that I've seen in a long time. Now, the world itself in this game does look really awesome. I, I think the world looks really fucking impressive and I, I like it a lot. But outside of that, I, I don't necessarily think that it's a... Uh, it's something to get particularly hyped up about uh, until the actual alpha comes out. There's plenty of games that look really good and then they turn out to be shit. So we'll see what happens.